Asari Dekubo is now twerking and shaking bum bum for Tinubu. He wants Tompolo's job. DJ Adeyuju blasts militant leader in a viral video. <laughs> Honestly speaking, we don't understand though. All these things when Asari Dekubo did do na high service. So, and this is getting out of hand. Waiting the military they do self consigning this Asari Dekubo having a private army in this the same country. Now, unknown gunmen everywhere. This, this, and that is happening. Where are these people coming from? Asari Dokubo is doling out AK-47. And nothing is wrong with that. DSS, not the same. One, uh, one double barrel, they say the, 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 the former CBN governor gets. Nine and they talk say is against the law. Why will he have that? You understand? But, but Asari Dokubo, Asari Dokubo is having AK-47. It is shown for video the world is here. When I see when I see militant group, they get guns. So all these people know they see waiting they happen. Bola Tinubu, the Nigerian uh, newly elected president. If this is how we are going to go, this issue, Nigeria is gone. You people are just busy no nurturing another bandit group. They get gone. Some people go still join. So gun just they fly everywhere. Goats get gone. Dog get gone. Cow get gone. Even fish in the river get gone for Nigeria. Because politicians want to, you know, force their way anyhow. This is desperation. And uh, uh, how do I put this one? You know, say that they talk, say, selfish interest, eh? eh? You know they look anywhere. You understand? So all these things they are just doing just for their own selfish interests. Well, make we even hear waiting, DJ don't tell them. Asari Dokubo is twerking and shaking bum bum for Tinubu. He wants Tompolo's job. DJ Adoyoju blast militant leader in a viral video. In a recent episode of the Mekon podcast show, a popular program targeted at the young audience, the social critic DJ Adeyoju Slam, the former militant leader Asari Dokubo, accusing him of pandering to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. DJ, who has currently filed a, a petition seeking the arrest of Dokubo for threats against the executive governor of River State, expressed his disappointment in the ex militant behavior Asari de Kubo in twerking and shaking bumble for Tinubu. He wants Tompolo's job, Adeoju stated during the show, clearly taking a job at the Kubo's recent agents. The social critic continued by saying that the Kubo is allegedly engaging in activities that he once criticized the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namde Kano, for. He's doing worse than the things he accused Kano of. Adeyo just stated implying a level of hypocrisy on the part of the former militant leader. Adeyo further criticized President Tinubu, accusing him of embracing individuals with criminal histories. This came following the Kubo's recent, recent visit to the president, presidential villa and his interactions with the press. The unfolding drama has sparked a lot of debate online as Nigerians watch with key interest to see how these accusations will play out. Meanwhile, Asari the Kubo, or can I call him the self-appointed protector of President Bola Tinubu, arrived Abuja with his enforcers to give back in to the president ahead of the protest strike called by the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC. A video of Asari Dokubo and some of the enforcers showed him along a road in Abuja and there are suggestions that, uh, but not confirmed, they could advance to the route to be taken by the striking workers protesting. The hardship arising from the policies of the government 
in the viral video as Yokubo is saying being edged on by his supporters as they demonstrated for Tinubu apparently against the protest by the NLC. Many of them are carrying banners in support of Tinubu with one saying that the mandate is from Hala. This is not the first time that Asari Dokubo will come to the defense of the president. As the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Tinubu was almost faced with addressing a nearly empty stadium when he visited Port Court for his presidential campaign rally on February 15th. The situation was saved by Asari Dokubo, who mobilizes men and women to show presence at the stadium, which was arguably the latest crowd Tunubu addressed in a state campaign. However, Tunubu went on to win the state following what has been said to be the political engagement he had with Governor Yeson Wike, the former governor of uh, River State. This support for Tinubu by Asari Dokubo as against the NLC protest has so far been peaceful. Nigerians, like as I said in the beginning, that we are watching this drama, how you are fooled. Understand? With this Dokubo everywhere in this country, <laughs> the lives of Nigerians are in the hands of the President and Tinubu because. Nobody can say what this guy can do at any time. They have a gun. Can I say they have guns? He have, he have militants who he can just command and they will do whatever, whatever, you know, he says. This is really a very big threat to Nigerians. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.